this video, we will locate some important buttons, learn how to place a call, receive a call, and check voicemail. We will also learn how to check recent calls, intercom, transfer calls, as well as how to park a call. Before we get to those specifics, let's get familiar with the physical phone itself, the lay of the land, if you will. Now, here are some key buttons. We have six line buttons on the left side of the display and six line buttons on the right for a total of 12. On the bottom of the display is your active screen options. They are new call, intercom, DND, and page. These buttons change when you are on a call to hold, end call, transfer, and more. Some of these options are straightforward. New call starts a new call, Intercom activates the intercom options. DND is do not disturb. Page allows you to directly communicate with someone's phone without ringing and waiting for them to pick up. As you navigate through the phone, you will see the more option. If you press more, you can get to conference and park. Conference is used to create a three-way conference call. Park allows you to handle multiple calls at the same time and gives options for others to pick up them. Some other important buttons are Home, Scroll Select, Headset Pickup, Speakerphone, Mute, Hold, Voicemail, and Transfer. When placing an outgoing call, there's no need to preface your 10-digit phone number with 9 or 1. Just dial the number. We are 10-digit dialing, so use the area code, which in most places is very common. When you are done with the call, simply hang up the receiver. You will also see an option to end call on the option buttons at the bottom of the screen. When receiving an inbound call, you can answer the call by pressing the speakerphone button, pressing the blinking line key, press the answer option button, or simply by lifting the receiver. If you would like to intercom others, press the intercom soft key and enter the extended number you would like to intercom. To check your voice messages, press the voicemail button. Your phone will ask you to enter your voicemail PIN. After you have input the PIN, listen to and follow the instructions on the phone. To check your recent calls, press left on the scroll select button. From there, you can use the up down arrows on the scroll select button to navigate to the contact you would like to call. Then press dial. These phones offer three different types of transfers. Warm transfer, blind transfer, and transfer to voicemail. A warm transfer allows you to speak to the agent or person before transferring the call. A blind transfer is a direct transfer without introduction. There's no interaction between you or the person you are transferring to. And transfer to voicemail allows you to transfer the caller to the voicemail box of a person in your phone system bypassing the recipient. To facilitate a warm transfer, you'll need to be on an active call. Press the transfer key, then type the extension number or phone number you would like to transfer to. Then press send and wait for the agent or person to pick up. When you are ready to transfer the call, press transfer or to stop the transfer and go back to the original caller, press cancel. It is important to remember not to press hold first. To facilitate a blind transfer, you must be on an active call. Press and hold the transfer button until you see the transfer select screen. Using your scroll select tool, navigate to blind and select it. Type the extension number or the 10 digit phone number that you would like to transfer the call to, then press send. To facilitate a transfer to voicemail, you must be on an active call. Press and hold the transfer button until you see the transfer select screen. Using your scroll select tool, navigate to blind and select it. Then, 
Type star zero, followed by the extension number. Star zero tells the phone system to transfer to the voicemail box of that extension. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.